Hello and welcome back to another episode of Internal Rambles. This is your girl, Rochelle, and this is a bonus episode continuing to review and recap Ready to Love Dallas. This is the recap of episode 8. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you for tuning back in. Last episode, Kira was the one that was sent home. So that means that the women are back in power. And nephew Tommy, Tommy Miles, gave the women the assignment to introduce their strongest connections to their best friends. Because at the end of the day, your best friends know your dating history. They know you. And so they're a good determining factor on who is the best connection for you who's really going to be the one that is a good fit so that is what happened in this episode so let's get right into episode eight of ready to love dallas Already first up was Katerina and Katerina had her best friend meet phil and herbert and I'm going to be honest right up front and at the top of this recap. I really, in watching the show, I fell asleep twice. And honestly, it may not really have fully been um, anything to do with this episode. It might have been just because I had really bad sleep issues this week <laughs> but also when I was first watching this I was like do these people really have connections like this the episode wasn't bad but I kept being I kept thinking to myself do they really have any connections this season okay so Katarina I was like Phil and Herbert like are you really strongest con- I mean I guess strongest for her but okay no, let me let me move further <laughs> phil and herbert so the friend was referencing and questioning phil and basically put him on the hot seat and was like yo phil you don't be communicating with katarina she be contacting you you don't be reciprocating her text you your your communication is poor and he was like nah i'll be answering i don't know what you... and so she pulled the receipts and was like she texted you here she texted you there she ooh, ooh, ooh. and then he was like oh <laughs> i don't be i'ma do better i'ma do better so here's the thing probably because phil's not really into you you okay um and sometimes i mean here's the th- here's the thing i've known men that are not great at texting but at the end of the day if you're really feeling someone if you're you put the effort that you want into whatever you may not be great at communicating you may not be great at phone calls you may not be great but if you really want to pursue an individual you will do what you got to do <laughs> that being said moving on so with herbert the friends asking questions and and it's just kind of like okay uh, it's not really going anywhere and at the end of the day the friend was like you know phil is maybe a better fit but with herbert the friend felt like Herbert is very indecisive that he may be a ladies man and at the end of the day I still just like I didn't write a lot because I was just like Phil Herbert Katarina there really isn't much I think they like each other on a very basic like oh Katarina's pretty but I don't really think there's a connection there so there wasn't much to this meeting at the end of the day okay okay Let's move on. Janelle. Of course, the love triangle has been Janelle, Quentin, and Herbert. Right? All right. So, um, the timeline, because you know, Quentin want. I mean, not Quentin, I'm sorry. Janelle wants to be married yesterday. Like, she's like, I want to be married. I want to date and then be married at the end of the year. Pregnant by the top of the year. I don't know what her pregnancy timeline is, but she's very intentional. Like, I gotta get listen. <laughs> My biological clock is ticking, tick tock, tick tock. I gotta get this thing going. 
or she doesn't necessarily have to birth the child she is okay with adopting but there needs to be marriage and the baby carriage in the very near near future and so (laughs) with um Quentin he's like listen if you're the one for me I'm all for it I'm I'm also very intentional I am not you know I'm okay with um a fast timeline it it really isn't a timeline for me it's just like if we're okay we're doing our thing let's go um but with herbert we all know he is the snail (laughs) of the situation he wants patience he wants um he he end of the year what we doing (laughs) so herbert is not with it he is not with the timelines he don't want what you want to do by the end of the year no 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 no. herbert is not with it and so um with uh that uh janelle's friend really liked quentin but needed more he's saying the same things what are his intentions but with herbert once he started saying you know i need someone that's patient um the friend was like uh y'all not on the same page because you do have a very uh you're not a patient person you have a very rapid timeline you're very intentional you know what you want you're very goal oriented he doesn't seem to be on the same page as you so the the friend definitely seemed to be more on quentin's side than herbert Alrighty, Aries and her friend, and I'm saying friend, there there could have been multiple friends, I don't know, but I'm just going to say friend because I didn't count. <laughs> Aries and her friend, and or if there were multiple, I don't know, um, had her BFF meet Chris and Phil. So, one of the questions to Chris and Phil was, what do you... How do you feel about Aries and her ambitions? Because uh, Aries is very career minded. She has a lot of goals. How do you feel about that? And Chris was like, you know, listen, I don't need the I prefer to be the breadwinner. I prefer to be the financial provider, but I would support my significant other, my wife, my woman, if she has goals outside the home. Phil was like, listen, I understand it. I had a moment where I was, I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to really be able to say it in a way that he said it, but basically he had some career changes and he didn't know where he wanted to go and he was back and forth. So he understands being goal oriented and, and wanting to really focus on your career and he would support that. So he, he was really forced, he was more so for the woman being a go-getter than Chris he's like I don't really Chris was like I don't need a woman to be doing you know I'm gonna be the provider but if she wants to I mean okay I guess what I didn't like about this interaction is I remember previous episode where um Chris's ex said that she was basically the supporter the servient the servant to him he wants that housewife and I I know that Aries was not a part of that conversation, but I wanted the friend, and maybe they did, I don't know, it wasn't shown. I wanted the friend to dig deep. Chris don't want that career woman, that woman that's a go-getter. And I know just because, as I mentioned back in the episodes, episodes ago, because Aries is on another dating show, Aries travels a lot, she um, does a lot of presentations, a lot of conferences. She be out and about. Very, I mean, she's very successful in her career. Um, and she's doing a darn thing. Chris don't want that. He want that wife at home cooking them meals, birthing them babies. Like he wants that housewife. So, and that's why I think, well, I'll get to this later. <laughs> um, and it's not anything negative, but I think that's what he sees. He, I'm a, I got this, I got this career. I'm gonna bring home the bread. It's enough for the family. So I wanted the that to be dug into deeper because I'm trying to tell you, Aries is not the woman for him. You know, because she ain't gonna be 
she gonna take care she currently take care takes care of the children she is a single mother she's divorced the kids are with her i'm pretty sure but she does also has a very demanding career that ain't what chris <laughs> okay so nonetheless um the friend really liked chris because chris was very vocal and had much deeper answers and phil was a bit more reserved but honestly phil and it was very interesting for aries phil and because she's like you know me and phil i mean i'm i'm phil and chris but me and phil have had deeper have had much of a deeper connection so mm, you know he wasn't very outgoing for the friend and didn't give deep answers for the friend but honestly Chris ain't the one for Aries. I'm going to tell you this. And I know at having seen her, listening to her podcast, knowing her, you know, I don't know her, but just knowing her because I've listened to her. Chris is not. And, and just seeing bits and pieces of Chris. Chris is not the one for her. OK, that's my little soapbox for the day. Uh, there may be more but that's my first one <laughs> but the friend was like oh chris you know he he was he was saying the good answers oh yeah he no 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 i think he really does like and care, but the type of woman that he wants and or needs is not aries okay let's move along lee is up next and her friend met quentin and i was like Lee and Quentin was a connection and I think maybe they were like early on but I feel like I hadn't seen them interacting because she was shown more so with the freak previously um <laughs> but now he's gone but this was really not very fruitful for Quentin or I'm sorry for Lee because her friend didn't really ask a lot of questions and she mentioned she was like I think that my friend was mesmerized by Quentin's muscles because she did not ask him very deep uh, questions she did not ask him what I needed her to ask him so she didn't really learn anything much from the conversation and even Quentin was like I didn't really get much about Lee from the conversation he was like he asked like why are you guys friends like what made what makes you her BFF and the friend was like you know Lee be in the house I like the party so I I bring her out the party <laughs> so it just was just not very great for Lee and Quentin on both sides actually so it, it really isn't much to say uh Quentin is all about Janelle anyways but for Lee she's just trying to dig deeper and get to know and the friend was not helpful so this wasn't very good at all like the friend did not ask him any challenging questions so that's that Sierra had her friends meet Herbert I think there might have been two friends at this one not sure meet Herbert and Marie A and of course timeline what you want to happen was brought up and of course he's true I mean at, at the end of the day consistency with Herbert I don't got no timeline I gotta see how things happen that's what uh Herbert said um and for Maria he said listen I'm ready for a relationship I'm ready for marriage that is the goal that's what I'm seeking that's what I want that's my intention mm -mm. so that is what came out of the real the conversations with Sierra and her friend and I don't know I mean I don't really know who Sierra is connecting with because it just seems like they people like the men like her but truly connecting on that relationship vibe I think that Sierra and Marie could be a potential match but he's more connected to to Jessica so like she's second in line so I don't know I don't know speaking of Jessica Jessica had her friend meet Chris and Mari A and Chris keeps bringing up she got the strong personality you know she just be out here you know she be ugh, you know I want to know what her love language is so her friends actually there may have been two friends here like I said I don't know one or two 
the friends was just like you want to know how she loves you want to know you want to know the emotional side of her and Chris was like yeah I get the personality I get that she is a boss in her career but I need to know what she's like at home so they were like okay I get that I get that Marie was like uh uh-uh, uh honey let me I like I like a strong give me that boss chick I like the strong personality I need that in my life um I want the woman to tell me about her dreams and her nightmares too I like mm-mm, give it all I need oh yeah so while Chris is like can you tone that down a bit Mm. <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot for me water that water that down like put some put some water on that maria is like huh, i want it all <laughs> don't change me baby let me get let me get it all <laughs> i want all five courses of that meal so you know at the end of the day her friends really appreciated maria because he is appreciating her and all sides and facets of her. Chris on water, that's too much woman. <laughs> that's too much woman for Chris, okay? So the friends lean more towards Marie. Mm-hmm. And I understand it because if I hear Chris talk about how much of a, and I get it, you know, I get it. <laughs> She's a strong personality when you see her. But you got to, when you love someone or when you're in a relationship with someone, you got to accept all. He can't accept all of it. That ain't the woman for, you know, he want, he want a woman that's, even if you a boss in the streets, he wants someone that's soft at some point. And he hasn't seen the softness of her. But I will say is that he may not have made it comfortable. I I do believe there probably is a softness to Jessica. But he hasn't made it comfortable for her to show that soft side. You know, you got to, sometimes you got to, you know, it takes time to, okay. That might be a soapbox on another day too. At the end of the day, the two (laughs) bottom men were Mr. Herbert. Because the women feel as though... He's a player from the Himalayas, <laughs> as Martin would say, and that he's a smooth talker, but he's just not ready for a relationship. He's not consistent. He wants to take things slow. Like, like you, are you ready to like, you know, they seem to believe as though he wants that physical connection. He already, you know, he ready to zoom, zoom in the boom, boom. But love, relationship, long-term marriage, that ain't what he wants. That ain't what Herbert wants. And then also the other bottom man was Chris. And they just feel as though he also is not as consistent. Some of the women feel as though he may need to have more time to mature. They feel as though he holds grudges. It's just a lot that goes on with Chris maybe it's just not the right time for him to have a relationship at the end of the day the man that went home was drumroll Herbert he went home and I really feel as though he could be a good catch it's just that timeline you this ain't the right situation for you I think he wants a relationship it's just that he this is an accelerated process he was slow as a snail he was like yo I'll call you when I call you I hit you up I'm gonna date I don't know marriage child when I get there children you know I want them kids but you know anything beyond the kids you know I could just shoot up the club anytime but when I you know marriage relationship long time child I don't know when I get there and maybe it's just that he hasn't found the right match because maybe that timeline will get more uh clarified for him but also that's how some men be they be just you know 45 uh maybe when I'm 55 I'll get me some like marriage don't be a long-term relationship don't be the goal I want children I want a family but some men don't want to get married also that 
you you have to be aligned and I don't think that like I think he was ready to like you know I'm I want to get into a relationship I, I don't think he understood what this was and he mentioned like I'm struggling he did he did um he did say that he was struggling with dating multiple women well that's what happens when you're on a dating show of this type so I don't think that he is a bad guy I just think that this was not the right situation for him I don't think that he had the, the intentions were not aligned with the other women and you gotta speed it up bro that's why I've been saying yo speed it up everybody because I do think he potentially could have been aligned with Janelle but you wasn't on the same path and on the same page as her so um yeah that's it for Mr. Herbert I think he'll be fine it's just yeah I think it's lesson learned lessons learned for him and that's it for this recap next episode they're going on their retreat with all the, of the singles and it's always very interesting what happens on the retreat it's always some dramas some drama that happens so excited to see that so we will see what happens on the next episode of ready to love we're getting down to the wire because i think once they go on the retreat maybe another episode or two and then it's down to like I pick you or I don't pick you so I think there's probably only maybe a couple more episodes before we see who really truly has connections and honestly like I said I don't think there are very many I think the only connections are Aries and Phil and I and now that Herbert is out the way I guess Janelle and Quentin um so but other than that these other women uh okay let me not name them out ain't no other connections <laughs> these other women that are there yeah they ain't got no connections we'll see what happens though because i do well let me not get on you know sometimes things happen late in the game where you be like where, where y'all come from but yeah the only con- the, the strongest connection that i really truly truly believe in at sort of kind of is Aries and Phil that's the only one Janelle and Quentin they could work but uh, I really think that Janelle and Herbert could if if he would have got himself together they would have been more of a match I think so that's my recap what are you thinking of the season who are your connections let me know you can reach me wherever you get you can listen to me wherever you get your podcast content, but you can interact with me over on YouTube. Just search Internal Rambles No Space. But also the main place is internalramblespodcast.com. Hit me up on the contact page. Leave me a voicemail. Let me know what you're thinking. Really appreciate all of you. My normal episodes releases every Thursdays, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My bonus content there is no set schedule for that it releases whenever i release it and i was i have previously um my main reality show that i tend to recap is mary at first sight it looks like i don't know if it's been officially announced i don't know i haven't been keeping up it looks like mary at first sight the next season is going to be in denver was that officially announced i don't know i don't know um so I don't know when the new season is starting. What I do know is that they don't let too much time go by before a new season. So I I predict the new season is going to start. I haven't heard. So if y'all know, let me know. September, October. They don't let too much time. Um, But with when I do recap that show, I don't do the matchmaking episodes or the wedding. I don't start recapping until the honeymoon. So that being said it would be a little bit before I start recapping it but I'm excited I there have been some womp 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 seasons and the fact that last season the only couple there was only one couple that stayed married child they best to do the darn thing (laughs) moving forward but that is it after ready to love I don't have anything scheduled to recap uh 
but I do think Married at First Sight is about to happen. So most likely it'll be that. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe to me wherever you get your podcast content. Tell your loved ones about your girl so that they can get in on this great stuff over here. Please be sure to listen to my previous recaps and all of my previous episodes as well. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves. Self-care is very important. And until next episode, this is your girl, Rochelle.